So this is Matt and Joey, and we're gonna do an opening game overview for Chaosmos. So at the beginning of the game, there's a number of factors you're gonna to have to consider in your strategy. First, there's which aliens you and your opponents have picked. In this case, I am Hagoon the Homesick, and Joey is playing as Vroon the Adventurer. Um, so you start on your home planet, which is based on your color. So I'm on Pendra here, and Joey is over on Guriwan with his character. So the, the first thing that you'll notice is that our planets are adjacent to one another which is really interesting because it creates the possibility that we'll be interacting with one another on the very first turn, and that's something that we'll have to keep in mind while we're making our strategy. What Joey just did was he laid out the Cosmic Pool, which is this set of six face-up cards here in the middle, that each of us will have the opportunity to trade one card from our hand with one of the cards here before we start our first turn, and any time we return back to our home planet. Joey's dealt out a hand of 10 cards, which is how many you'd start the game with in a four-player game. You start with six cards in your hand, plus four cards in your home envelope. So let's take a look at what Joey drew. All right, so I see a planetary transceiver. This lets you suck cards back from a base. Um, there's an imp, which is a, a little creature, fights for you. A couple of hyper tubes, they let you teleport cards. There's a nanofabricator, it copies things. Poison dart, a weak weapon. Scrying prism lets you look onto planets in other players' hands. Respiration worm, which I'll come back to, it's an environment card. Teleporter Trap, and an Ion Shield. So, me being Vroon the Adventurer, the first thing I'm gonna notice is this Respiration Worm. It's my environment gear. It lets me go to Kafav. Now, Kafav is the planet that I can't go to, and if I'm playing against Eternic the Brutal, then he can't go to Guriwan, my planet, and so we actually are sort of rivals. We can't go to each other's uh, planet. The Transceiver, I probably would leave behind unless I decided to go for a base strategy. I'm gonna let Matt talk about the base strategy for now. Um, you want to talk about the base strategy for you? I mean, yeah, I obviously wouldn't need the respiration worm myself that Joey just went over, but knowing that Joey is playing through, and if my opening hand had a respiration worm, I would most certainly hold on to it too, because what I would want to do is actually bring that to Kapov and lay it there so that Joey couldn't access that planet any longer. Uh, now, open, seeing this opening hand, I, playing Haguin, usually prefer to set up a base strategy. And fortunately, there's a base in the Cosmic Pool here, so my first thought would be pick something from my hand to trade the Cosmic Pool, uh, so I could get rid of, say, this, uh, this extra hyper tube here, since I have two, and grab the planetary base. And I can set that up on Pendra, and then leave behind weapons and other equipment to protect the planet. And the reason it's so good to use that with, with my character power is that the Haguin can actually teleport back home anytime during the game by spending one action. So what I can do with a base strategy is go to any different planet, grab the equipment there, and then bring it all back home. So that's probably what I would do, especially because we have the planetary transceiver here, which allows me to remotely grab things back from my base during the game. So that would create a lot of versatility for me. Now, knowing that that he is the Hakuin. If this was my starting hand, I would almost certainly hold onto the Scrying Prism, but I wouldn't waste it yet because I would suspect that Pendra is going to become a fat stack of weapons uh, later in the game. So I would hold onto the, the Scrying Prism. I might leave it at my home, but because I'm so close to Pendra, in this particular case, he might just come after my, my planet. I might go over to Cyclocus, which is the planet that, uh, that the Hakuin can't go to because it has this yellow toxicity ring. So. If I set up a base or a vault on that planet, it's doubly protected. So I don't see the Ovoid, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go look for it. Right, and that's the opening. So yeah, that's the opening strategy. You've gotta pay attention to your opponents, pay attention to your character power, the cosmic, cosmic pool, pool, for sure, uh, as well as your opening hand of cards. Thanks.